These grainy images showing 25-year-old Charlie Gregory on an eight-foot aluminum boat miles off the Atlantic coast came at his absolute darkest moments of despair. What did you think were the chances of your survival? I was sure I was going to die. It was just a matter of when. And with no flares or phone, which fell overboard into the ocean, the likelihood of spotting something so small for the U.S. Coast Guard was hard to quantify. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Person uh, in a raft in the middle of the ocean, 13 miles offshore, outside of the search pattern that we had already uh, searched already. Uh, just incredibly difficult. Throughout the nearly two-day ordeal, more than a dozen boats passed Charlie, many, he says, within a stone's throw. Were you using your shorts to try to wave yeah. them down? Yeah, actually, that's all I had was my board shorts, and I took them things off and was waving, yeah. I saw helicopters, I saw boats, I saw planes. None of them ever saw me. All of it with his boat partially submerged in the water and sharks everywhere. They would come right up next to you, and they just hover, and they don't really move away or anything. After his incredible rescue at sea, this improbable reunion, where there was plenty of love and gratitude for the first responders who saved his life. Every day, we celebrate the life of my son. He's back because of all your hard work. It's the kind of relief parents have a hard time putting into words when he first arrived on shore. There is a God up there. If you ever thought it wouldn't, let your kid go missing offshore in the friggin' ocean for 38 hours. I gave up hope. I should never give up hope. Don't give up on the big guy. And also weeks later, in the presence of all those heroes. And I am screaming, he's alive. Charlie's been found. He's alive. And Raymond is screaming, all, he's alive. And it just was an intense, overwhelming sense of elation and joy. I don't know how else to describe it. It's amazing. And guys, the search guard, I should say the Coast Guard, already completed two search patterns. They had crafted a third. We're about 10 minutes into that one when they spotted a coconut in the ocean, as it was described to me. It turns out that that, in fact, was Charlie. You know, I did ask him, would you do anything differently the next time? And he said, absolutely. I'll get a bigger boat. Right back to you. <laughs> it is amazing. Never give up on the big guy. Sam Brock for us there in Florida. That was a great story, Sam. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.